Today, I am going to try the limited edition printed fun Pop-Tarts. These are the gingerbread, and Kevin bought these at Target. He also found the limited edition sugar cookie Pop-Tarts, the frosted sugar cookie Pop-Tarts. Now, we reviewed these last year in October, and they were so good, and Ashley absolutely loves them. I think they're Ashley's favorite Pop-Tarts, so Kevin made sure that he picks them up today. Um, it's weird because both of these boxes have 12 Pop-Tarts, but one was $2.99 and one was $2.66. Kevin has no idea which was which. But I just think that's interesting that you're paying a little bit more for one of them. Um, so anyway, since I've tried the frosted sugar cookie before, you can look at that video if you want. You know, though, that we really like them or we wouldn't have bought them again. But today I'm going to try the gingerbread. Uh, since these are new to me, I have no idea if they're new on the market. Um, I could have just missed them last year. Uh, these do not say that they're frosted. No, the picture doesn't show frosting. Either. The picture doesn't show frosting. That's okay. They are still 200 calories, uh, like most Pop Tarts. So they must be loaded with something to be the same amount. Oh, the and look, yeah, the print that, that it got good. this one, and you can see the little sugar granules on there. And they smell really, really good. So I'm going to stick one in the toaster and I'm going to try one untoasted. And I'll show you how it looks on the inside. That's how it looks. Let me cut this again. I'm going to get Kevin to try a bite. Yeah, that's a. Uh, it looks like a lot of icing on the inside. It looks really good. That's good and sweet. Mm -hmm. um, that gingerbread has a really nice uh, flavor. Uh, it's soft. It, mm -hmm. Like that's a soft was, sugar cookie. That's what I was going to say. It's very soft, um, not crunchy at all. So if you like a softer cookie, uh, you would really like this. Mm. That's good. This is one I think will take better to heat it up. Um, it has a very pleasant taste. Um, sorry, it's a taste, a flavor to me that reminds me of more of winter, more getting past Halloween and going into uh, the Thanksgiving Christmas time, but they are a limited edition. I don't know if they're just at Target or not, but if you see them, I would go ahead and pick them they up. They don't say Target exclusive. They don't say Target exclusive, but a lot of Target exclusive items don't say Target exclusive. Oh, really? So anyway, I'm going to wait until uh, the, the one gets out of the toaster and then we'll try and heat it up and we'll see which way we like it best. It's toasted. Smells wonderful. Look at that. Looks good. It smells like oatmeal. I love that uh, the goopy stuff that comes out. Yeah, that's the stuff that melts your tongue. Yeah, it's like lava, but it's good lava. It kind of looks like milk. <laughs> milk coming out of there. Very hot. I don't know, Kevin. You thought I would like it better hot. I don't know. I like that it's warm just because I'm cold right now. <laughs> but, I don't know. It's good. It's still really, really good. I like that charred flavor. Mm -hmm. But, once you heat it up, you diminish some of the gingerbread flavor that you tasted mm -hmm. before it was. Right. Like it was much stronger gingerbread taste before mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and heated up. It's not as gingery. Definitely not. That definitely took away from the gingerbread. But it has that toasty, like burnt, not burnt, mm -hmm. but you know what I mean? That toasted toast flavor. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I like it better. I'm 
thing that I like it better untoasted, like a cookie. Mm -hmm. That's what it reminds me mm -hmm. of. Not to say I don't like it heated up. If you want to heat something up, if you want something to warm you up. Um, but I think, yeah, I would just rather eat it like a cookie straight out of the package. You can have it on the go. Send it with your kids to school and not have to go through the hassle of waiting for the it to toast. So, my vote is for untoasted. And I, I would, um, I don't know if I'll be buying these again, but they are good. That's not because I didn't like them, but I prefer my Pop-Tarts. I like the sugar on top, that frosted layer. They're both the same amount of calories. Um, so why not go ahead and get that frosted layer? Uh, I miss that on top. So if, if these came with a frosted layer, I would probably say yes, I'll, I would definitely buy them again. But since they don't, I think I would pass on them. Although they're very, very good and I'll eat what I have. So thanks for watching.